Hello, I am Monica with Close to My Heart, and I'm going to teach you how to put together the Close to My Heart penny card. We have just introduced in our core catalog these fun and awesome metal dies called Thin Cuts here. Let's take a look at what we have. It's here inside of our core catalog on page 46. You can see we have these different types of sliders, different designs that you can then create what is known as a penny card. But this is of course the close to my heart style. Here are some samples. I actually have the samples here to show you. Let's take a look at them under the close up camera. So here is our first one. You can see we've got this cute little bike and it slides across the card, which is so cute to have that Slit. So the metal die helps cut out that slit right there, and then we build it together. I'm going to teach you how to build it. Here's another one with the cute little stork, and of course we're using our stamps here as well, and that little stork delivers that little bundle. This is the one we're going to work on today. I'm so excited to show it to you. You can see how that bike slides across and back. So cute. And then the paper airplane one is another one. It's kind of like a zigzaggy one, so you can move that across as well. So cute, so fun, but we're going to focus in on this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in already my pre-cut supplies here. I've got them all right here on this fun little Versamat. <laughs> you can see it's been pre-cut. It's all just the cover of this card. And look how fun and cute that little dog in the basket. The great thing about this stamp set is actually it gives you some options. Here is that stamp set right here. You can also put flowers or the cute little puppy. You've got some different sentiments. This one we did have a, a wheelie good day because that goes with the bike, you see? Here's the stork to, um, and then you've got to my ride or die, that could go with the bike. Welcome baby for the store, congrats on your new roommate. Flying by to say hello and all oh, the places you'll go. So fun, we have here is our stamp set as well as the metal die, but mine is already pre-cut. So you can see here is the bicycle. We've already pre-cut it and stamped it right here. We're gonna use the clouds as well. You have that here. And I'm just going to show you how to stamp that and put it together. And then we're going to focus in on the penny side of things. You've got a few options, actually. We're going to use actual pennies because I have them here. But if you don't have the actual pennies, then we actually do have in our metal die for this, these fun little cards you can see right here. Let me open that up. You have these two that can be sandwiched together to act as a penny. It's a little lighter, especially if you cut it with cardstock, but it still works great. In fact, every single sample card that I showed you is done with these here. Now, if you wanted to have a little heavier weight and you do have access to a penny or a washer or something like that, then you can use the pennies, but you can also cut your own little circle um, to help make the mechanism work. So you can see these are the options here. We're gonna be using this one right here, but I'm gonna wait to do that at the end. Let's go ahead and start building our card. So here is our card front right here. You can see this one. This goes on our card base, but let's build first, shall we? Okay, now I'm just going to add all of these pieces that have been pre-cut for me. Let's stamp our cloud. So simple, so cute. Just three of those. And then we're gonna use our sentiment in one of the clouds. I'm sponging the edges all three edges and then our strip across where our penny thing's gonna be. Now I've torn the paper, going so good. Just adding all these clouds. 3D foam tape, of course, just to pop it up a little bit. Now let's get our bike ready. We're gonna add the flowers in the basket. So simple and so cute, you have options. Let's go ahead and color those in. I'm just using our watercolor pencils dry. So simple and easy and fast. Gives it just a little pop. Now let's go ahead and start building. Okay, now we are going to be using this one here plus this piece and I'm gonna bring in my die cutting machine. Here is the close to my heart die cutting machine. Make sure that it's on die cut and I've got it on negative one probably good. Okay, this is an awesome machine. I absolutely love it. Let me bring in my plates here. Here is the cutting mat that I use. 
We're gonna be using that wavy one for the bike. So let's go ahead and bring that in. Bring in our piece of cardstock. I'm gonna put that face down right here. And that's about where I want it. So I wanna make sure that I'm taping that down so it doesn't move or jiggle at all. So I'm gonna use our masking tape here. This is the close to my heart one. Make sure that's down. And I've got my platform. Sandwich that. And now I'm gonna run that through my die cutting machine. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way, just so I don't have to go through the whole cutting mat, but this is awesome because it's six by 12. Okay, so here is that piece. Now, if you didn't have a penny, let's say you're in, a, you don't need this piece anymore. If you didn't have a penny, then you could use those circle metal dies. Look at that piece, so great. We're gonna put that on our card. I'll show you how to assemble that. But let me just show you what you can do with the circles. I've got some white daisy cardstock here. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna put my circles here. And basically, I'm making my own penny <laughs> or my own little piece to help that spin through, right? That's great. If you want to just do something simple. Oh, sorry. Let me grab that. Put that back on. There we go. Through. Out. And here you can put those together. See that? So simple. So if you don't have a penny as an option, it doesn't give you the weight of a penny though, but it does help the, the mechanism go through. Like I said, my sample has it. I'm gonna show you with the actual penny just to see, so you can see the difference. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, here's that piece, but we're gonna put this fun little accent piece down first. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add adhesive, but I'm gonna bring in my little all-purpose mat because it's so thin I want to make sure that I'm getting the adhesive where I want it so and that it's not spreading on my artwork the all-purpose mat allows me to have that there and this wipes off and cleans easily so now I've got this piece and this one is going to go right down about here that's a good spot for it Okay, so let's go ahead and build our mechanism. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a penny and we're gonna make sure that penny fits where we need it to fit. I've got these 3D foam dots here that have some adhesive on one side and then a backer on the other. So let me put that on here so you can see that's where my penny's gonna go. I'm also gonna put a penny on my bicycle where I want that and then I'm going to attach those together. So let me go ahead and add some glue dots to that. All right, so here's my glue dots here. I'm going to add that glue dot on, grab that with my scissors. That right there. Just to make sure it sticks on the other side. Okay. So we're gonna add that to our bike, right about there so it covers up. Okay, now I know that's where I want my penny. I'm gonna flip that over and I'm gonna add 3D foam tape. I'm gonna use this thicker width on the sides to pop it up. Okay, I've added my 3D foam tape. I've made sure that there's room for my penny to move. So I didn't add it all the way all over because this one goes high, this one goes low here. So just on those spots that I know the penny's not going to hit. So let's go ahead and adhere this down. So I'm gonna take that adhesive backing off of my 3D foam tape. Let's go ahead and take that off and then we're gonna add it to the front of our card. So, and all right, let's turn this over and lay it down. So it overlaps that little strip there. See it all the way through. 
Okay, now you can see how that moves. Okay, now we're going to take that adhesive off and we're going to add this penny on. Two together. That. Look at my penny card. It slides so easy, doesn't it? So cute. Now I'm going to add just a little finishing touch. Let me just pick that up just a little bit. There we go. We're going to add some gel pen just to add a little more character to this piece. A little stitch. Let's move our bike across. And there is the front of our penny card. Now you just have to add that onto the base of your card. I'm gonna fold that over. We're gonna add some adhesive. Go ahead and just add it to the base. Where it's strong. And stick that down. There we go. And you have your penny card. Look at how cute that is. It moves so smooth. Here's this one again. You've got that cute. And this one's done with these paper little um, dies that were provided in the set. So if you don't have access to a penny, you can definitely use that as well. I hope you've enjoyed how to make a close to my heart penny card.